but it is uh, Ohio with the lead game, that is, in the 10th game, literally. Ziggy getting around the outside, just to go around Pain Pain. Pain literally calls off the field with a quick two point pickup for Ohio. They are out in front by 11 points, 21 and a half minutes left in the opening half. Next up we have Mango the Clown from Royal City and number one first class from Ohio taking in the United States general line. Mango the Clown almost got out first, but she is recycled and it is first class with Lee Gamma for Ohio. Nice tripod 
being entered by Kane Crane over at turn two right now. Betty Zateo taking off for directing gameplay penalty, so that does free up some space from Angle. He manages to get out, but not before first class can pick up three points for Ohio. Just over 16 minutes to go in the opening half. And Ohio starts to 
Let's just jam down one blanker. We have number 10, Jane Literally on the camera line. And oh, Royal City has said number 11, Alia Siva. And Siva gets knocked out on the outside line. And then Jane Literally will be standing for Ohio. Confusion there to who will be Jammer, but it is Ohio with the lead and a four point pickup. So back to a 10 point advantage for Ohio, 51 to 41. At the halfway point of the half, we still have three quarters of this game to go. If my advance to math has not failed me yet. And we have Patrick McHugh and McPherson on the line to their respective teams. Back to you guys, but she picked up a high block on the forearm on the side. This is a power example, McPherson and Wilson. Well, McPherson challenging the outside, not to the inside, trying to thread the needle. Ohio locking things down. Ronnie Rivet being peeled off for a blocker penalty.
Please accept that for the three Daniel for Royal City. And that quick call off from Princess Tunch means this will be a 14 back advantage on the start for Royal City. Down by two points. 58, 56, 10 minutes left in the first half. Royal City sends out the pieces to take advantage of this uh, depleted Ohio pack, and Ohio sends out Pat Lucasfilm. Ohio two blockers making life difficult for Luke Pearson at the front, but he is pushing at them and manages to get out and get lead for Royal City. Everyone all modded up between turn one and two. Betty TKO is turning to the penalty box for Ohio. Amy Spears getting tangled up with Thomas the Tank. And it does appear we have ourselves a lead change. Royal City out in front by one point, 59 to 58. Royal City has one player in the box after that. And it is big for Ohio, and Mangles has gone for Royal City, starting on the neon stage general. Mangles finds a hole on the inside. Oh, but he is being given a high block penalty, and that is now a power jam for Big Ridge and Ohio. a very strong Royal City tripod, which is broken apart from some ex excellent offensive blocking from Ohio. Wow, that was Pain Train clearing the track. Big Ringo gets hung up again in the pack. Royal City is not giving Big Rig any room to work. And Mango the Town is back on the track. Lee Jam are finally awarded to Big Rig, but the Power Jam has ended. An excellent kill there by Royal City. Mango the Clown is back pushing against that Ohio wall at the front of the pack. He's still on their initial path, and he needs to complete this before he can come back around to Jersey Point. Bigger meanwhile is fighting against a tough tripod from Royal City and he manages to get out and pick up four points for Ohio. And with those four points, Ohio has a new game to lead. I was going to run this one. Bigger goes into another beer, finds four more points. 8-0 jam, 66-59 for Ohio. Referring to the Neon State Challenge, they have Neon State has almost 10 years of experience as a skate equipment retailer. They are a team of full-time skate experts providing you gear, classes, and all sorts of dirty and skating know-how. Find them in person in Ottawa, online at neonstate.ca, or here at Put Up Your Boots. Neon State, Neon State, Neon State. Speaking of Neon State, that is number 44, Princess Hunt, and also number 44, Brush Knuckles, who are starting on their Neon State jammer line. Brush Knuckles out and around already with a quick lead jammer for Ohio. Nice move up the inside line there for Brush Knuckles, picking up the four points. Princess Hunt is trying to punch her way through a tripod at the front of the pack. And she might have better luck now because Rush Knuckles is being sent to the penalty box with a trap pass. The power game for Royal City. Star in hand for Princess Hunt.
This is fun challenging K-Train and Curse Chaos. K-Train with the takeout and the drawback from turn three. Well, it's going to be allowing Ohio to step up the wall and then trying now to counteract that. And we have a play pass to number 255. That is a Red Raven, Wilkie Jennifer. We've got a star pass violation here. And both Princess Punch and Red Raven in the penalty box. Royal City Star on the track. And the game ends with both the Jammer and the Pivot from Royal City in the penalty box and their star on the track. Uh, seeing uh, the A from Royal City, Lilith no there. Uh, coming in just to double check what is happening. Other bed staff from Royal City, we've got a wild thing, just seed and built four left, all on the bench of Royal City. And for Ohio, we have Alexa, Titus Scott, Bermuda, and Amy Flower. Time out called on the track. During this timeout, I will tell you about the skating officials for this game, led by Bobby Boone, joined by Mary Chaos, Dick Shearer, or Dirk Shearer, Oliver Pitts, Richie Cranian, Epic Bill, Fussa, and Queen Kit Victoria. Took a much larger lead. We are now at 78 points for Ohio and only 59 for Royal City. And since every every year when May 4th is around a derby day, it becomes a de facto Star Wars day in the Royal Derby community. Uh, I would be very remiss if I didn't point out that in the Venga Village near turn two. We do have somebody wearing a Chewbacca costume in honor of the late great Peter Mayhew. Thank you for representing Star Wars Day here at Photo Your Gates. Oh, 
some trouble with those two Ohio or two Royal City blockers on the track, and it is McPherson who gets out first with these jammers for Royal City. Both jammers are a good head of steam right now. They literally took the inside line just enough room to get around Rugby. McPherson, I'm not that far behind him. He found a line on the outside. And we only have one Royal City blocker remaining on the track, so it looks like Ohio is planning to run this jam off. McPherson stuck to find a very strong four wall from Ohio. They are not letting this through. Came literally back in the pack and around again for another quick four points for Ohio. And if you can find an open outside line and she manages to hang on. A can be one here. This person really, really pushing on this one. Ohio's uh, bleeding blockers at this time. One comes out of the box and one goes right back in. Yeah, Ronnie Ritter going to the box for a cut and picking up a second. And a track type thing issued to McPherson. McPherson was on a heck of a run in that game. This one now going to full two. That is Red Raven from Red Raven from Royal City now also going back to the box. And they literally picked up a full 16 points in that game for Ohio. Wow, well, Ohio knocking on the door. The door is still a visit. With a 26 point lead, 98 to 72. Minute and a half left in the half. Royal City running into some penalty trouble on the late going of the half. They have two blockers and their jammer in the penalty box at the moment, and it is big race for Ohio starting alone on the New York State general line. Now the officials calling a timeout. That will freeze the clock at 120. Also, in the vendor village, I'd like to tell you about the Derby Rebel Boutique. They are back here at Boots once again with all of your Derby fashion needs. They have printed shorts, skirts, and fun tops. They also have a presence on the Facebook, Derby Rebel Boutique. I'd also like to tell you about rollerskating.ca, their Canada's roller skate store. They've been a trusted, knowledgeable provider of security teams all across Canada for over 12 years. And they have the best customer service. They sell the service to all the top derby brands, safety gear, and tons of recreational skaters as well. With over 30 years of expert quad skating know-how at their service. You can call them. They have a phone number, and that is 1-855-ROLL-SKATE. Official review has been requested. By Ohio. It looks like Jury got a quick time out before the point took down because Ohio is now in triple digits, 101 to 72. official review. May as well tell you what else is happening today. Coming up at 2 p.m. Junior Roller Derby action. The Tri-City Juniors taking on Montreal. That'll be at 2 p.m. At 4 o'clock, back to WFTJ sanctioned action between Ottawa Valley and Orange Hill. Rock City from Rochester, New York at 6 taking on Toronto. And then at 8 p.m. 
Your host, the Tri City Auditor, will be facing the very same Royal City bootleggers that we're watching right now. Looking for uh, to overturn a direct mistake penalty, or sorry, a softball penalty on their blocker and the rest of turn sudden death. But the officials determined that the call on the track would stand. Okay. Ooh, 
Bigger with the Nikki moves on the inside line to get out to four points for Ohio. This looks like it's going to be the last jam of this half. Bigger is almost around the outside. Knocked out of bounds. Three enters behind Ronnie Rivet. Threads the needle. That's going to be good for four Ohio points. Two rows for the blockers sitting in the penalty box. That is Thomas the Tank and Elia Hugo. And then Jando Princess Hunt on her way there as well with a flat cut penalty. Despite the uh, brief time out that we have afforded by the official review, it looks like Ohio Royal City has not been able to stem the flow of their penalty. And Big Lake is out in the formal point for Ohio. Ohio taking the back wall, laying in the weights near the United States Challenge, chainsaw with the rollback. Some nice toast up work by Biggers on the outside line to get around that Royal City side pass. And she repeats that motion this time on the inside line. Four more points for Ohio in this last game of the half. Bigger has already picked up 24 points in this jam. Star pass by Royal City. Sarno on the helmet of number 11, Ali Artusa. And a track cut to Bigger. Bigger is right at the end of that jam, picking up a track cutting penalty, but not before causing all sorts of damage on that scoreboard to close out the half. A 26-4 jam for Ohio. The score at the half is 127 points for Ohio, 78 for Royal City. But Royal City will be starting the second half on a power jam as they break us in the box. So we will be back in about 15 minutes or so. We got a half time. Ohio Derby 127, Royal City 78. Second half will start with a power start for Royal City. Three is going to be completing seat in the penalty box. Penalty is very lopsided. And total of 30 penalties issued to Royal City, 17 only to Ohio. Is starting on the Jammer's New York State Jammer line for Royal City, and she gets out quickly and completes her initial pass. She picks up the Jammer. See the bookends by Royal City. Despite that offense, McPherson is still stuck in the pass and is recycled now by the Ohio defense. And Big Rig is out of the box and completing her initial pass. <laughs> Big Rig gets around the track quickly, forcing the Pearson to call it off, but not before she picks up four points for Royal City in that game. On the neon stage, Caroline, for Ohio, 0 2 2, Mitch Mikachu. And for Royal City, it's number 44, Princess Punch. Royal City needed all four blockers on this track, but Ohio has one in the box. Just like a half advantage. Uh, Royal City cannot hold on to Pat Mikachu, and she is out and in for Ohio. The Princess Punch is hot on the tail. Mikachu catching the pack. Challenging Arlen Elliott, too, so. Getting around and just looking to see how many points may be awarded. Three. Three points picked up by Catch Mikachu. Alright, 
Kayla Sons in our sideline, but the Ohio blockers recycle and have her contained up at the front. Bridget Parney colliding with number 44 of Brass Tackles, but Parney picking up the penalty. And that allows Brass Tackles to get out and pick up Lee Jammer for Ohio. Close to the outside line by the uh, strong defensive walls of Royal City, but manages to find a track to the inside line and picks up four points. Mango still pushing on a strong tripod by Ohio, and Brush Knuckles is through again. Yeah, Amy Spears getting in the middle of that weird tripod. He's being set up by Royal City. Brush Knuckles is recycled by number 52, Judith Newbron, and she has to come back in the back of the pack and try again. Mango to Khan still fighting in the front of that pack, which is now getting quite spread out. She is trying to push the Ohio defense out of play and manages to do so, finally finishing her with the pass. The fans in a hard slog. Getting called by Brass Nuggets. Putting up an even 10 points, it appears. Ohio seems to be trying to uh, catch up to Royal City's penalty count as they have once again two blockers in the penalty box and Ohio has, or Royal City has a full contingent on the track. Catch Mikachu and that is the Stardust on the Neon Space Jammer line. Catch Mikachu playing some Jammer defense to start off with. But we start off out first with lead for Royal City. And he is back into the pack while Pat Mikachu still stuck. Maybe forming a wedge, breaking apart the three wall, now down to the two wall for Ohio. But Pat Mikachu just powering up the inside line. stuck in the pack and she decides to call it off as Pat Mikachu approaches. And she still picks up the full four for Royal City. Number 82, Nick Houston on the EA State General Line for Royal City up against number 10, that is Dave Literally. Strong work at the front. She is out and lead jammer. Yeah, just powering through the blockers, tearing apart those formations. McPherson, some success on the inside line. Dane literally picks up the full four, and she is being replaced on the New York State jam line for the next game by Big Ray, who will be up against Princess Punch from Royal City. 4-4 four, four, pack to start this game. 144 for Ohio, 86 for Royal City. 23 and a half to go in the game. There's some strong walls at the back by both defensive formations. Now they're getting to find any room at all. Big Rig is recycled by Ali Garcigo, but Princess Punch is as well. She's going to have to go all the way back, almost to the edge of the pivot line. Nice work right now by Hank. And the bootleg is anchoring that 3 wall, but Hank gets sent to the penalty box. And Big Rig is 
Bigger is out first, but it is Princess Hunt for Blue Jammer, and she calls the jam off before Bigger can score and score. Couple of gentlemen in the air, no points awarded. A new jammer, Matt, number 13, Smash Panda, taking the line for Ohio, up against number 57, Vicky Sarda, for Royal City. Seems like Ohio feels they have the game pretty well in hand and are trying out a new jammer in this uh, last 20 minutes of this, this game here. Stop off the issue with better TKO for Ohio. Matt Sander getting eight cycles on the outside line by number 52 through the deep wall, allowing Vicky Sarda to pick up the lead jammer for Royal City. Come on, Vicky! Woo! Deep wall taking a seat in the penalty box for Royal City. The Royal City coming out on top in that jam with a four-part pickup. That'll take him to 90. Ohio holds at 144. Bigger versus McPherson. This is a matchup we've seen a few times this game already. Um, they are your jammers starting off on the field to make jammer on for this game. Um, quite a depleted cap. We only have three blockers for Royal City and two for Ohio. Yeah, Kingston and Biles, the blockers on the track for Ohio. Right now they're making a McPherson sandwich. Royal City recycles their, the Ohio jammer, but they send them at least three red to the box. Closely followed by number 42, Biles from Ohio. McPherson has the jammer, uh, but Bigger is actually out in front. We have the blockers returning for the penalty box. The pack is very small and very fast right now. Getting a breeze here, Jack. Pace is picked up for sure. A whip coming from Betty TKO. Just enough momentum for Big Rig. Not every day you get to see a whip in the World Derby anymore. Ohio's been doing this for a long time. Founding member of the WFTDA. Bigger is just negotiating around the outside of the track, manages to hold on, but it's recycled on the inside line by Ali Arduza from Royal City. Bigger is just stuck in the back of a solo Royal City tripod while Mr. Houston gets out and gets a four points for Royal City and calls off the game. And with that 12 point jam by McPherson and Royal City, Royal City has now passed the century mark with 102 points to Ohio's 152. Less than 20 minutes to go in this game. The penalty box has been emptied and Princess Punch and Burt Slap are on the Neon Stage Jammer line for their respective team. We've got some nice defensive formation from both teams and it is Burt Slap for Ohio as they the these jammers. Yeah, you see both teams have been keeping the blockers a lot tighter together. We've been sitting on jammers. Strong work by Burt Slap that goes through the pack and he gives up a full four points and calls the jam before Princess Punch can control it. We get a shout out to Rumbling Rage. Rumbling Rage Roller Space and Equipment is a Canadian company based in Barry. Their mission is to provide you with accessible, high quality products. At their store, you'll be able to find Roller Space wheels, gear, accessories, apparel, hardware, and much, much more. You should be here somewhere in the Vendor Village. They had it, we're on the ridge. Did you start out for Royal City and Bell for Ohio on the Neon State Jammer Line? 
they are both fighting to from from like the formation uh, that is Bellatrix beating and leaping away out of the front. So that's just some quick news on the outside line to take out the damage of the city. Uh, Highball coming to the crowd on hits to that collision with Democrats. Two points awarded to Royal City there. 104, Ohio 156. 17 left and a half. Cross Knuckles in the clear state on the New York State Jam line. We have one Royal City blocker in the box. And the full contingent of Ohio on the back. Cross Knuckles with some nice post up work on the inside line to let her beat the Royal City defensive formation and get out for the jam line. Nice recovery from the person there to get that initial out of the way. She gets around quickly, forcing Ross Knuckles to call it off. And she uh, does not manage to pick up even a single point on that game. That's good work for Miss Pearson to get around quickly. On the on skates. General it's number 10, Jane Literally for Ohio. 44, Princess Punch for our city. One down for the pass in the penalty box, so neither are playing too much offense on that initial pass. Uh, Princess Punch out first with Lee Daniel for Royal City. Richard Punch, fighting for every point, picks up two. Walkers in the start box right now. Bigger manages to find some separation, pushing the Ohio blockers out to the front. They have passed the pivot on now. While this start up is pushing, pushing out to the start of the Ohio blockers in the back. Well, there go Rage with the 69 for Ohio doing a nice job in the back right now. That was a very hard earned lead. Absolute leapfrogging happening on the track. Come back straight away. Four points picked up by Ziggy. Key timeout requested by Ohio. At a stop the clock, 1354. Left and a half. Ohio leads by 46 points, 156 to 110. Another friend of Roller the Independent Village this weekend, Sociopath, based in Sarnia. Sociopath is a dirty owned and operated athletic apparel company. You can check out that table to find out more about their size inclusive leggings, derby accessories such as arm bands and helmet covers, and much more. Thank you for being here at Whatever Duke, Sociopath.
quick OTO in the signal here.
Because we can see in Princess Punch have stars on the helmet, and they are standing on the neon skate camera line. Four blockers to on the outside. Pat Nikachu trying to go on the outside, but he's recycled. Yeah. Uh, she manages to get through the guard that is lead jammer for Ohio, and Pat Nikachu. Four teams pushing back to play off for their jammer to get her out. Uh, they can't seem to get together in time to prevent Pat Nikachu from picking up the full four points on that game. Both of these great sets they have picked that they managed to steal two points in that jam. Uh, Princess Punch managed to uh, get around quickly and sneak those, but uh, Pat Nikachi was not looking. Nick Person and Russ Knuckles on the Neon State Channel line, both on the inside, both go to the outside. And the first one emerging victorious with the lead jammer status. Nick Pearson finds a hole in that Ohio defect and she is out and around with four points for Royal City. Oh, and it looks like we have the jammer from Ohio going to the box with a high block. So the first one is now on a power jam. He is also sent to the box with a four-hour penalty. That is going to release Gluck's knuckles, and now Ohio will have a short power again. Also means this jam is definitely going with full deuce. Star is back on for Gus Knuckles. McPherson also now re-entering the trap. This is a three point pass awarded to the person. That's a hard hitting from the person in the back, but it was legal and she is back up on her feet. Pushing it into strong Ohio. Tripod at the front of the pack while first slap is trying to get it down to the your city defense in the back. Four points for Ohio, but another two awarded to Royal City. Ohio calling a team timeout. That is their second. They will have one more at their disposal after this, and along with their official review, so they use it. All the dots on the board still for Royal City. So we're currently looking now at a 32-point lead for Ohio, 168, 136, and Royal City is not going away. We have six minutes to do that in this game, so there is still time for Royal City to come back and uh, and tie the game or even change uh, the lead. Recycled by the remaining Royal City Jammer. 
he has been awarded to Ziggy, who hung up on the straightaway again. Pay Mantis coming up to run some offense. But then the D comes back from Ohio. Looking in the rear view mirror, Ziggy Stardust calls the jam. No points for either side. The Royal City is requesting an official review, stopping the clock at 6.08. A trail by 32 points, 168 to 136. Coming up next at 2 p.m., Junior Road Derby, the Price City Juniors hosting the Juniors from Montreal. That goes live here on the floor at 2 p.m. Ohio Gammer. Now in this jam, we have Prince O'Connor, Royal City, out and leave. Big Ring countering for Ohio. Prince O'Connor picks up one point, two points for Royal City. One point for Royal City, and uh, no points for Big Ring in that game. Okay, that's actually two points for So it's even 30 points, the difference. Advantage Ohio, 168 to 138. Just over five minutes left here in the second half. That's you can see a McPherson on the Neon State Gamerline. Get her, get her! And it is McPherson with you, Daniel, for one. If you have a big business to catch up. McPherson with a very quick four point half for Royal City. We're going to need a few more like that to catch up to Ohio. Go, Ziggy! Gus Knuckles and Ziggy Stardust will be the jams to start this one. Ohio only with two blockers on the track with a broad thing in the best so far. Go to the game! Yeah! Ah! Ziggy Stardust finds an open inside line and she is out for a big lead jam for a broad city car. Go to the game! 
Jiggy with a defensive ball off, picks up three, keeps Ohio off the board. And that Ohio lead is now down to 23 points, 168 to 145. Three blockers for each team on the track to start this jam, and it extends that punch up against Big Rick from Ohio on the United General. The first lead jammer in a row. And momentum on the city side for the moment. Oh, this is Punk trying to call the game from the infield, but can't because she's a CD back blocking penalty. This is a super important power jam for Big Rig and Ohio. Big Rig is not lead jammer, so this jam will be going the full two minutes. And Big Rig manages to evade a hit by playing Lanky on the outside line there. He gets up a full four foot close for Ohio. Yeah, that vertical movement from Big Rig is allowing him to get under the blockers. You got this girl, keep going! He's punch out of the penalty box and re-entering the track. But he has a tough from Ohio to me. Yes. That is number 10. Oh, that's number 19, Chainsaw. And Chainsaw able to draw another cut on Prince's punch. Two Jarrett counties in a row for Royal City. This is going to give them quite a bit more of a margin to climb once the next team starts to try to get back these points that they're losing to Ohio. The are still fighting against a tripod at the front of Royal City. They managed to push her out on the outside line and recycle her right away back. So three points were awarded to Royal City on that jam, but a big 19 in Ohio. Ohio now about They've extended their lead by, they're up by 39, 187 to 148, just over a minute to go, 108, the clock has been stopped for a team timeout, called by Royal City. So 
We are still in this official timeout, by the way. seconds left on the clock. 39 points separating these two teams. Yes! As you can see with a very good lead game of status for Ohio. The person taking off her penny to try to get through this pass. To a nice move around the outside. They first and take the inside. Both jammers scoring going point for point now. Unfortunately, that's not going to be enough for Royal City to try to uh, get up through this game. That is not going to be enough for Royal City to come back and uh, defeat Ohio in this game. We are still 42 points up for Ohio. Dan is called unofficially Ohio 198, Royal City 154. And based on the most recent March 31st WFTDA rankings, we have ourselves a rankings upset. As of March 31st, Ohio ranks at number 66, Royal City number 53. Ohio closing out that game strong with an 11 to 6 game by Pat Mukasita. And that will be putting in the books. Their final score, Ohio 198, Royal City 154.